welcome back to Newbrook. So, in the previous episode, I did warn that I was bringing a new set of wheels here to the farm. And I've purchased them. It's down at the dealership. Let's get down there. I think the rationale for this is that the Massey is being used quite a lot and I can't always rely on it to be the loader tractor as well. So this is what I've purchased. It ain't new by any means. This is a JCB 3CX. It, I think these are about early 80s, maybe mid 80s. I'm looking forward to having this around the farm. I think it'll be useful for jockeying bales around more so than anything. And yeah, as I say, it'll just be a little bit of fun. It's rough and ready. It did not cost a lot. So that's usually well inside, uh, or that usually aligns with my budget. <laughs> so in we go. We'll have a quick look around. My abiding memory of these has always been the si sheer size of the cab. They've always been huge. They were always huge. Although big didn't exactly equate to <laughs> comfortable. But then that could be said for most tractors uh, manufactured in the 80s. Nice big smashed window there, of course, as well, which is all the more authentic. So I can see one of the wheels there is riding a little bit low. I don't know if that's just something to do with the, the mod design or whether that tire is actually riding low. I'm going to say it's riding low. Um, so we're going to go straight to work. We've got those bales that we made in the previous episode ready to go. We're going to stack them up on the trailer, cart them back to the yard. Uh, probably going to use the, the follow me mod just to bring both tractors down to the yard and back, or down to the field and back again. So let's crack on.
Thank you.